Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to our NCAA Football 2004 Dynasty with the uh, North Carolina Tar Heels. Coming off a national championship game appearance and loss to the Miami Hurricanes. It was very heartbreaking loss. 21-14, I believe. Yes, it was right there on the screen. Uh, we gave it our all. It just, it just wasn't enough, guys. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some recruits for the future. We got three more seasons left in this series before we wrap it up and then move on to NCAA Football 2005, which I will most likely be using a created school in that series. Uh, but yeah, let's do this. Oh, also, I have been sneezing my brains out since the moment I was born, so I'm a little bit stuffed up right now. And, you know, I can't breathe, so bear with me. If I sound funky right now, I just, I don't care. That's how it's going to be. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's all shared in the Discord. We're Gucci. Got the chat up. Who we got in the chat? Tyler Rocky, Marvin Joseph, Andre the Truth, Rocky Clearwater, Hurricane Jr. Senior, Topsy Kretz out here. What's going on, everybody? I had to do my intro twice for the video because, well, you know, I, I forgot to turn my mic on. So, <laughs> I got that going for me. All right. Let's do a Sports Illustrated little recap here. Heisman winner, Davis for Wisconsin, won it. 2,183 rushing yards, 22 touchdowns for the Badgers. Award winners, I believe we had a couple, I think. Yeah, Darian Durant won the Maxwell. He won best quarterback. And let's see. I think we had another one. I know we won Coach of the Year, I believe. I believe we almost got the Thorpe Award. Sean Taylor uh, deservedly got that one. Seven picks, three forced fumbles, 62 tackles, five sacks, a touchdown, 13 tackles for a loss. But Alex Russell was phenomenal this season. Ten interceptions, forced fumble, four pick sixes. He's going to be such a beast for us for hopefully the remaining three seasons on this series. And the Girls Award, we didn't get on here at all. I mean, all these guys have attempted like 20 or more field goals, so it's not really surprising. But our kicker, who was also a true freshman, just like this one right here, that won the Lou Girls Award. Only missed one field goal all season, and that was in the national championship game. But what a season for Sam Owen. 33 of 39. Wow. That's coach, Harold Beecher. We won that one. Let's get it. Am I sick? Uh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Wash my hands. <laughs> Hammer Jammer Jr., what's going on, Liam? What's going on, brother? Two-Faced Bison in here. Hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to slap that like button. Slap it real good. All right. All-Americans. Let's see if we got any on there real quick. Darren Durant, first team. Darius Bowman, first team. Almost 1,500 receiving yards, 13 touchdowns for the sophomore. What a beast. And hopefully Alex Russell, Alex Russell did get there. Very nice, that is a deadly secondary, Alex Russell and Sean Taylor. And Mike Nugent gets first team, even though that freshman made 33 field goals. Okay, second team, see if we got anybody on there, we do not. Freshman team, Alex Russell of course, will be on there. Yeah buddy, right there, what's up? All right. Uh, let's see. They don't have conferences, so... All right, cool. Cool. All right, more results. Yeah, we don't want to see how depressing it was. Top 25. We do finish the season third in the nation. So, really impressive season that we had. Um, I don't think that we should have been in the national title game. It probably should have been Oklahoma or USC. Or maybe even Auburn. I don't know. But all the, look at all these teams with just one loss. This is crazy. And then, of course, the Notre Dame bias. They're second with two losses. Get out of here. But a lot of good teams this season. UNLV, top 25, UCF. Akron at 20th. San Diego State, 19th. Insane. And final standings. Yeah, 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 we get it. We lost. All right, cool. All right, offseason schedule. Players leaving. Let's see what's going on. Durant, sadly, gone. 
We lose Jacques Lewis. We lose our fullback, Madison Hedgecock. Jaworski Pollock is gone. We're losing several offensive linemen. All these guys are starters. We desperately need O-linemen in recruiting. And some secondary for sure. Oh my goodness. We're losing a lot of talent here. Most of our best players, really. But Darian Durant, he goes out, you know, with a great season. 38 touchdowns, 8 picks. 3,764 yards passing, 70% on the season, and 11 rushing touchdowns, 488 yards. He also had a catch for 6 yards. But hopefully that helps his draft stock just a little bit. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope he really has uh, a successful career in the NFL. Export draft class and continue. Because you know we got to export that draft class into Madden 04, into our Falcon series. we got to do it. Tom Schaefer in the chat. What's going on, brother? <laughs> Draft Durant. I don't need a quarterback, man. I got Mike Vick. Durant for the EFL. I can't make any more players. I used all the create a player slots for the draft lottery. So I, I cannot create anybody else. Sadly. The cap is 63, I think. Or 61. One of those two. All right, let's see what we need, guys. We need a fullback and a tackle. All right, so we'll do offense first. Interested prospects. Tackle and a fullback, you say? All right, let's go look at the fullbacks. 4840, 47540. Eight plus hands. You know, I'm just going to go after both of them. Because why not, you know? Might as well. All right, let's look at tackles really quick. You know we gotta go after the five-star tackles. We gotta do it. Daryl Williams out of Illinois and Seymour Fowler. All right, we'll make him top priority since he is from North Carolina. Daryl Williams will give him 12 points on play time. I would like to get us some guards as well. Guys from North Carolina. Center. How many centers do we got? We got two centers. All right. Just trying to think of what we should really go after here. I'll get another center. Whoops. He's a Juco guy. All right. Defense. We got a four-star defensive end that has us number one on this list, so obviously we're gonna go for him. Gotta do that. Give us a tackle. We'll go after one of these guys. And then linebackers, corner, and free safety. Oh, this would be huge if we could get a five-star outside linebacker. Play time, what's up? All right, anybody from North Carolina? No, nope, we'll go with this guy, maybe. Haven't even been checking the stats. Yeah, I don't want this guy. He's too slow. There we go. All right, let's go after Zeke Ratliff. Basically, just because that's a cool name, so why not? You're going to put Durant in your Madden 19 draft class. <laughs> You're going to have to make him like 40 years old. All right, what's this guy? Daniel McKenzie, 47840. He's got us number one on his list. John Colbert, 
or 940. No thank you. All right, let's check out the linebackers, the middle linebackers, rather. Casey Kendrick, Marathon, Florida, runs a 475. Obviously, we're going to have to go for him. Got to do it. 4540? Good lord. Gonna go after him. And Samson. Because I believe this is the guy that ran the 4 6. Yeah, 4 6 7 40. That's really good. Alright. So we're going after three outside linebackers. Three middle linebackers so far. And we need how many corners? We need one corner, one free safety. Like Branch. Go after him. We gotta get some speed. This guy's a 4 5 40. How's my punter? <laughs> uh, my punter is a sophomore, so he's not bad. I'm set for on my kickers for the rest of the series, guys. <laughs> Don't you worry. All right, three star, four three nine. Uh, yeah. Any Mich or any uh, North Carolina guys here? Anybody? Two star? No thanks. All right. Which one's faster? All right, this guy's six foot. I like his size. Go after him. For safety, we need one. Oh, we have zero strong safeties interested in our school. Feels bad. This guy's from North Carolina, so we'll have to check him out. Four, five, forty. All right. So we're gonna go to the top three guys here. Now, okay, we got 20 targets. No, my punter could not use an upgrade, Tom. Sean Bayhan in the chat, what's going on, brother? Oh, my punter is pretty good. Sixty-eight overall, but obviously we haven't gone through the uh, yeah, improvements yet, the training. But 90 or 80 kick power, 80 accuracy, pretty good. That'll go up for sure. All right, let's see what we got here. Five star quarterback, got to go for him. Why not? I'm not gonna put play time because, well, we got a guy. No halfbacks interested. Wow. Okay. All right. I might as well go after this guy as well. If I could just swing some of these guys, that would be fantastic. Four nine forty. Oh, it's terrible. These guys are so slow. Oh my goodness. All right, now, let's go state prospects here. We do, we need running backs. This is bad. Four, six, seven. Yeah, it could be all right, I guess. I don't think anybody likes the new Rams logo, dude. It's bad. It's, it's not good. All right, we need we need a running back. All right, this guy has average interest. Please join us. I can find another guy that has average interest in us. All right, we got two right here, two four stars. Ron Sweeney. <laughs> okay. Our current targets. Who do we got here? This is rough, guys. I'm trying to see who I can get rid of on this list so I can go after another 
uh, another running back because we desperately need one. We really do. Oh boy. All right, let's get rid of the quarterback on the list. No, oh, no, we're number three on his list. We gotta at least try for him. I don't know who to get rid of. The LA part looks like a local news station logo. <laughs> oh my goodness. Facts. Definitely facts. All right, let's get rid of this. We don't need a center. All right, where's LeBron? Where is he? There he is. All right. That's it for now. Let's simulate the first week and see what happens, guys. What did you miss? You didn't miss much, Hurricane. <laughs> just finding some guys. And I just realized that I simulated the rest of the week without using all my points. Feels bad. Oh boy. Rams logo from the 95 season. Is that the one that you posted in the Discord, Rocky? I don't know why they had to switch their logo and stuff anyway. There, there was nothing wrong with it. Like, what's the point? Like, I understand if you're switching colors and stuff. Just, just switch the logo with the colors that you're gonna use. That's it. It's really, it's not rocket science, you know? Hey, we got a middle linebacker, Casey Kendrick. Five-star middle linebacker out of Marathon, Florida. He is 6'6", 249 pounds. We got Dallas Mason. Five-star defensive end out of Martinez, Georgia. 6'1", 262. And we got the one-star fullback, Alexander Hoffman, out of Oviedo, Florida. He's 5'11", 175. Very small fullback, but he can run it, folks. Tremendous potential, it says. A-plus hands. He's going to be a receiving fullback for sure. Can't wait to see that. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited about this recruiting class already. We've just got three guys. All right. Here are targets. Let's check it out. See who committed elsewhere. Get them off our board. Okay. Lost Daniel McKenzie, outside linebacker. We lost the Brad Sweeney to Georgia. Feels bad. And we lost Zeke Ratliff to Southern Miss. All right, so that opens up three other spots. All right. Hands is B plus. I mean that's pretty good for outside linebacker. I'm not really worried about that. Alright, let's go location for everybody. Like the prospects of possibly starting a left tackle next year. Okay, okay. He's not going to be a starter right away. Uh, yeah, you will, buddy. You surely will. Alright. Playing time for the tackle. Alright, he doesn't care that it's a hometown team, really. I really hope that we get some more of these four and five star players we desperately need it especially these guys they're so fast that's a six foot four corner 197 pounds oh my goodness that is insane i like it all right seems to grasp things quicker than we thought all right so gpa that affects his awareness i believe Oh, I would definitely want 007 as my running back. Of course. 
but I mean, I would also like a four or a five star running back as well. That'd be fantastic. All right, faster than we thought he'd be. Doesn't matter. He's a left guard. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's just keep it all moving. Playing time. Better head on his shoulders than we thought. Okay, Amari Watson. What's up? All right, four four eight forty for the corner. If you guys notice, I went after some some taller corners than normal. Need some height out there on the outsides. All right, let's go. Come. Remember, we got to add a few more players as well. All right. Got to go after some more halfbacks here. We know Auburn's not going to get these guys. Not all of them. They can't. Why not? All right, let's simulate. Falcons are supposed to change their uniforms up a bit. Yes, sir. Yeah, those alarm clock numbers are just ridiculous on the Buccaneers uniforms. Alright, give me some five stars. Hey, we got our team prestige up to a four star with the national championship appearance. I like it. It sucks that we couldn't win it, but it definitely helped out our squad quite a bit. And if we're going to lose to anybody, why not lose to my favorite team, right? Why not? Come on, big money, big money. Five stars, four stars, let's get it. Oh, baby. Look at all them, them croups that we got. We got the five-star quarterback? Bruh. What? Insane. All right, so Damian Higgins. Wow. Out of Pleasantville, New Jersey. 6'6", 228. And he is fast. 467, A-plus arm strength, B accuracy, Guys, did we just get a beast? Did we just get a beast? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. We got five-star outside linebacker, Levi Levi. Levi Levi. Yep. Yeah, that happened. 6'3", out of Coldwater, Michigan. And he is pretty good. 4'6", We definitely got... Uh, a lot more speed so far already, and I'm loving it. And we got Daryl Williams, five-star tackle, 6'5", 283 pounds out of Danville, Illinois. Rashad McClellan, four-star corner out of Middleton, Wisconsin. Cornell Thurman, five or four-star guard, he's 6'5", 288 pounds out of Durham, North Carolina. And Amari Watson. Four-star defensive event, 6'3", 242 out of Carbondale, Illinois. And he runs a 4'9", 240. Oh my goodness, guys. This this is going to be good. This is going to be real good. we got Chad Sampson as well, three-star, middle linebacker out of Iron Mountain, Michigan. And he runs a 4'6", So much speed. I'm loving this so much. Oh my goodness. Levi squared. The L-double. <laughs> I love it. This is going to be great, guys. I, I am loving this draft. There's recruiting class already. This is fantastic. We just got to get ourselves some halfbacks. All right, we lost out on Levon Huff. He went to Pitt. Lost out on Jarvis Meads, who also went to Pitt. Will McClintock went to Florida. 
Antoine Ratliff to South Carolina. That's a halfback we lost out on. Seymour Fowler, five-star tackle, lost him to Auburn. Lost Andy McIntyre to Nebraska. That's a five-star halfback. We only have eight guys left on the board, folks. We need you guys. We need you. We need you. All right, let's get these halfbacks, please. All right. Very concerned about not being a starter right away. What do you guys mean? Who is my halfback right now? Like, what are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? You have to be better than these guys. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, bro? Unreal that they're just like, yeah, I don't, I don't want to play because I'm not going to start. Like, you're going to start, my guy. What are you talking about? Get on my team! Mike Branch, the six foot four corner, still our number one on his list. Jimmy Randall. Guess we're going to program prestige for everybody now. Why not? And then. What do we got on here? Program Steve certainly liked our pitch on the great location. Uh, yeah. All right. So if we get all eight of those guys, that'll give us 18 commitments. Did we lose that fullback? No, we didn't. Okay. We might lose him to Georgia Tech. We got to snag him, though, for sure. Can I nab anybody from other schools? You mean, like, transfers? I mean, uh, we might get some transfers. I don't know. All right, let's check out the... Uh, Top 100. Let's see what's going on here. Virgil Fitzgerald. Why not? Five star defensive end. Let's do it. Out of Massapequa Park, New York. Quarterback, wide receiver. What's his interest? Low. Might come back to him. Interest level is high for an outside linebacker. Okay. Why not? Imagine. Oh boy. You know we gotta go for him, guys. What about you? Average? Alright, we'll go after you. Like, we need more receivers, right? <laughs> like, we need more receivers. Yeah, I think we'll be. Uh, transfers is next, I think. I could be wrong. awesome we got a five-star quarterback yes sir what is the name of our other quarterback that played during the season other than Durant I can't remember his name for some reason like I just played the last game like three days ago what am I doing Kirby right yes Kirby Oh, boy. Please give us, like, everybody that I started to recruit right there. Just all the five stars. Let's go. Getting that national championship game, like, it put our team on the map. And that's why we've got so much more talent interested in coming to our school. We might be able to turn this program into a powerhouse by the time we're done with the series. All right, we got the three-star free safety from Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. Maybe I can get a halfback from transfers. That'd be nice. All right, probably. Oh boy. Oh boy. We did not get the defensive end. We signed with Ohio State. Outside linebacker signed with Oregon State. Corner signed with Ohio State. Halfback signed with Auburn. And we lost the four-star fullback. That's all right because we got this guy, and he's pretty decent for a one-star. Not bad. Okay, please. Air Force? Really? Air Force is your number one right now, my guy? What do you mean? Tapes don't really show a quick tell. 43540? Wow! Okay. Let's get it. How about this guy? What do you like? Vertical jump didn't live up to the hype. Oh no, it went down really 0.6. Bruh. Who cares? It's a 35 inch vertical. 
That's pretty good. I know it's pretty good because that's that's my vertical. <laughs> At least it was when I tried out for the uh, the CFL. Captain Hill's a big draw from Mike. Okay. What about Jimmy Randall? Location is playing a huge role in recruiting him. All right, most of his numbers going up. It's, no, never mind. Squad went down 40. That's all right. All right, let's get these guys. I mean, at least get John or Joe Bond. You know what I mean? We gotta at least get one of these running backs that we're scouting. We're good. Imagine we get just some random guy at the end of this. That'd be a lot, just amazing. UL Lafayette has him number one. Bruh, what do you mean? Let us beat them real quick. Oh, I want playtime, not location. Get out of here. Alright, do I have everything? I think we got everything that we needed. Five star kicker, jeez. Alright. Let's just go through. See if uh, we can get anybody else that's interested here. Might as well offer them a if they have us number one on their list, you know? Two-star guard, huh? What an animal. Yeah, why not? Anybody? <laughs> no? Okay. 48240. Okay, never mind. I thought it was a linebacker. I was about to have a heart attack right there. I swear. Start with a linebacker, 4, 5, 6, 40. That is not bad. What this guy? Seth Rosner, 4, 5, 6. He is a Juco Jr., but that's all right. What this guy? 4, 6, 5, that's terrible. Zero strong safeties. Feels bad. Oops, state prospects here. Yeah, because Miami needs more talent. Unreal. Gotta go after him. In-state guy. Probably not gonna get him, but that's alright. I can't believe there's only one running back in the whole state of North Carolina. Like, what is going on here? This is really bad, guys. Alright, we're done with that week. Oh, boy. Should get in stream NCAA March Madness 06 for the PS2? Yeah, maybe someday. I got so much stuff going on on the channel right now, it's, it's crazy. FCS Dynasty is coming back soon, a couple weeks. And then EFL is coming, you know, to the channel. You're gonna have preseason. Just one week of preseason. That'll be after week one of the FCS Dynasty. And obviously we still got the Tar Heels going on, the Falcons. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do season three of the Tar Heels. And then uh, get to the Falcons, you know, during EFL and FCS, just here and there when I have time to do that one. Because once those series start, I mean, there's not going to be a whole lot of extra time for anything, really.
Excuse me while I sneeze. Don't want me dropping series like Dawkins? Yeah. I don't want to do that. I mean, NFL, uh, or not NFL, but the League is definitely not coming back on the channel. Just because of loading screens. I can't stream that game, there's no way. Alright. I can barely see right now, I just sneezed like a hundred times. We got Mike Branch, corner. Owen Martin, Joe Bond, we got a half back. Dion Lord, and Seth Rosner. I'm gonna scroll through these and uh, mute my mic so I can continue sneezing. I'm very excited about this recruit right here, Mike Branch. 4340 at corner. A 42.5 vertical. I mean, this guy is going to be so good for our secondary. We beat Bama and Florida to get Mike Branch. You remember the Mississippi State franchise? I mean, who doesn't? That's what started the channel, man. Alright, we got one week left, guys. Oh boy, lost out on Harold Talley. I didn't think we stood a chance with him anyway. We lost a bit of linebacker, another Dave. Free safety went to UL Lafayette. Feels bad. Ty Scott went to Air Force. Five star halfback to Air Force. Are you joking me? Morris Givens, Steven to tackle to Miami. Four star defensive end to NC State, so we'll be seeing him. And let's see, we lost one other one here. Wesley Johnson, UCF. So we have 16 commitments so far, guys. We're doing really well. I mean, I don't know what else to go for here. What did I talk to this guy about? Location, location, location. Okay. What about this guy? Definitely got our location. Okay. Prospects. So, why not? Four star fullback, just out of nowhere. Let's get him. I will lose my mind if we're able to get anybody right now at the end. Okay, let's see here. Imagine we get a running back with 4 3 speed. Bruh. Let's do it. Might as well try for him, you know? Anybody? Looking for some speed here. 4-5-8? Anybody faster than that? Nope, okay, cool. Sick. Yes, I know the, it, the uh, military academies like to run the ball. Come on now. How long do I think I'll keep the NCAA 06 FCS Dynasty going? Uh, as long as I want to. Forever. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it so we can have two seasons per year. So, who knows how many we can get to. Look at this speed. That's crazy. We don't need a receiver, though. Alright. Just trying to think here. What do we want to go after? Yeah, let's go after a center. Why not? Oh, that location. Alright. That's it. Let's advance. And see what our recruiting class looks like.
That's right, David, for the full 60 years, it'll probably take us 30 years to do it, but I am here for it. Let's go. I mean, once my kids get to school, all four of them, we'll, we'll be having a lot more. I could probably up it to like three or four seasons a year, probably. Yeah, I don't know why Madden tops out of 30. Makes no sense. There's less teams. Like, what's the problem? Alright, Charlotte, take it easy, bro. Appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to slap that like button on your way out if you haven't already. I do appreciate it. Alright, let's go, recruiting class. Let's see what we got here. Season 2 off season here. Come on now. Big buddy, big buddy. Come on now, evaluate faster. Alright, so we got a four star halfback. Okay, I like it. With 446 speed. So we got some random running back from Texas in the last week. We barely did any recruiting on him, and we got him. We beat Idaho and Middle Tennessee State for him. Oh my goodness. That is an amazing get in the final week of recruiting. 5'11", 203 pounds. That's a great size for a running back out of Jollyville, Texas. Ben Woodruff, probably our new starting running back. And we got two-star guard Mike Forrest. 6'3", 304 pounds. 27-inch vertical. That's a big dude to be jumping that high, bro. Oh, my goodness. All right. Let's take a look at our recruiting class, guys. Well, let me get rid of all these guys just because uh, my OCD will not allow me to keep them on here. Even though I know it doesn't matter because they'll be gone. All right, so we got 18 commitments this season, folks. We got every position of need filled, and then some. Let's go. Top classes. Tell me we're in the top 25. Come on now. Look at this. 11 five stars, 10 five stars. That's crazy. San Diego State with the sixth best. Wow. Yo, number seven recruiting class in the country. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Five five stars, five four stars, three three stars, two or four two stars, and one one star player for the North Carolina Tar Heels who finished third. In season number two. Oh my goodness. That is huge, guys. Absolutely monumental recruiting class right there. And that recruiting class might bring us a national championship by the time it's all said and done. Let's take a look at our signings. Here's our five stars. Dallas Mason, defensive end out of Martinez, Georgia. Casey Kendrick, five-star middle linebacker out of Marathon, Florida. Levi, Levi, Levi Square. Outside linebacker out of Coldwater, Michigan. And then Damian Higgins out of Pleasantville, New Jersey. Five-star quarterback. He's 6'6", 228. Runs a 4'6", 740, A-plus arm strength. Oh, my goodness. Five-star tackle, Daryl Williams out of Danville, Illinois. That does it for our five stars. Here are our four-star players. Ben Woodruff, halfback out of Jollyville, Texas. He's the number 20th ranked uh, running back in the nation. We got the number one tackle and the number two outside linebacker, number four middle linebacker, number seven defensive end, and seventh best quarterback in the country. Insane. We got Omari Watson, four-star defensive end out of Carbondale, Illinois, 28th best defensive end. Rashad McClellan out of Middleton, Wisconsin. I mean, oh my goodness, 36th best corner. Cornell Thurman, four-star guard out of Durham, North Carolina. And Mike Branch, another four-star corner here. These are probably going to be our number one and number two guys this season, most likely. And Branch is out of Allendale, South Carolina. 17th best corner. Monte Hale, three-star free safety out of Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. Chad Sampson, 
the three-star middle linebacker out of Iron Mountain, Michigan. Rowan Martin, Juno, uh, Juco Jr., free safety out of Rolling Meadows, Illinois. He'll be with us for a couple seasons at least. And Seth Rosner, got him. Two-star corner out of Decatur, Georgia. He's also a Juco corner, or a Juco Jr., rather. And he is, uh, I don't know, he might be in the slot or the nickel corner back, back spot, maybe. Joe Bond, he'll get some playing time most likely with a 4 6 7 speed. Um, but he's out of Bain, North Carolina. Mike Forrest, two star guard out of Beaufort, North Carolina. Dion Lord out of Fuquay Varina, North Carolina. Alexander Hoffman out of Oviedo, Florida. He's our one star fullback. And he'll most likely be the starter. Because, I mean, he's pretty quick. He's got good hands. But that is it for recruiting. Let's finalize it, folks. Unreal that we got that running back in the final week. That's amazing. I can't remember the last time I was able to breathe out of my nose, guys. Feels bad. Wow, Jeff Longany went up seven for his overall, up to a 68. Milan Carey went up six to an 81 overall. Let's just go by position here. And Matt Baker trying to take that starting role from Nate Kirby, both with a 78 overall. Okay, then. I like the fight, I like the effort. But what's the throw power, throw accuracy like? Oh, yeah. Baker, you don't stand a chance, buddy. Not a chance. Retro freshman Mark Williams went up to a 70. Here's our running backs. They're so slow, though. I wish their speed would have went up a little bit. We got talented players? Yes, sir. We got a lot of talent in recruiting. Ricky Cook, retro senior fullback, up to a 73. He's so slow. 57 speed. Wow. Darius Bowman up to an 83. Darrell Mitchell to a 79. Mike Mason. He might be going into the slot now. I don't know. No, we're going to have to keep it to the outside. Mo Ivey will be the slot guy most likely. Wallace Wright. Everybody is improving quite a bit, and I am enjoying it. Jamal Greer up to a 79 overall. Hopefully he'll be healthy and, and be able to play a full season. You ever get walk-ons? Yes, you do. If you do not recruit the required amount of players for a certain position, you will get walk-ons for that position. Kyle Ralph, up to an 81 overall for our left guard. Up tackles a 71. Center, Stephen Bell, and David Hardy. Pretty good players. We have no right guards. Feels bad. Kendall High, up to 77 overall, a defensive end. Even the tackle is definitely a position of need. We need some more talent there. Malik Brown up to a 78 overall. Wretched sophomore. Will I play 2K5 on a stream? Uh, yes, I will. Eventually. I'd like to finish the Tar Heels and the Falcons series first. Marquis Clayton up to a 70. Jeff Longany, of course, plus 7. Went up to a 68 for his Wretched senior season. Oh, boy. Quarterbacks went up all five. So that's pretty good. I like it. Plus one speed for Holt. Up to a 79. Dimitri Kirk. Plus, plus three up to a 70. And Alex Russell only with a 68 overall. But obviously he's going to stay as a starter. I, I don't care what happened with Tommy Richardson. He's just not fast enough for me. Can I get a right guard for a walk-on since I don't have one? Well, that, this is just showing players that were on the roster last season. So this is not showing our recruits that we just got either. So Kicker Josh Hunt went up to a 79 and David Huber, the punter, went up to a 72 overall. So let's continue to cut players and you'll be able to see our full roster here. We have 59 players, 23 freshmen. 
Here's our quarterbacks. Damian Higgins, 75 speed. Is the best quarterback on the roster. He's the five-star that we just got. We have a quarterback competition between Nate Kirby and Damian Higgins, fellas. Oh, my goodness. Higgins might get the start. The, the start. He might get that spot, guys. Throw power, 79. The accuracy is just not there, though. Oh, my goodness. I'll let you guys talk about that in the Discord, who we should start. Be sure to do that in the North Carolina Tar Heels channel on the Discord. But that should be fun. Woodruff, 87. He is our starter, hands down. 87 speed. You know we have to give him the starting spot. I don't care what what carry he's doing. He's got 78 speed. It's not good. Joe Bond, he will most likely be our number two guy with that 80 speed. I like it. Some solid pickups here at halfback. Fullback, Ricky Cook. I mean, we'll, I think we'll start Ricky Cook, and we will redshirt Alexander Hoffman. Get his overall in the mid-60s for his redshirt freshman season. Wide receivers, all really solid. We know what they can do. We've seen them all a couple seasons, man. Tackle, Darren Williams, 81 overall freshman. He's going to be a monster for us. Oh, my goodness. Guards. See, we do have we have plenty of guards here. A couple freshmen to fill out the roster. Put Alex Dar as quarterback. What's the matter with you? <laughs> All right, Tyler, take it easy, buddy. Hurricane back. What's up, buddy? We got a pretty solid roster, guys. That was a really good recruiting class. We're going to get rid of Daniel Nelson. Goodbye. We don't need you. I just wish we would have gotten some defensive tackles. But Chase Page, he had some solid games for us. The last couple games of the season, he did really well. Three sacks and a fumble recovery. Outside linebacker, Levi Levi. Levi Square, 86 overall freshman. Sweet Lord. That is insane. 84 speed. Wow. Well, we got some speed at linebacker, guys. Casey Kendrick, 76 speed. Freshman Chad Sampson, 78 speed. And Dion Lord, 82 speed. Oh, my goodness. Wow. We're going to be running the 3-4 a lot this season, guys. Quarterback, we got some speed. 91 speed for Mike Branch, 78 overall. And Rashad McClellan, 84 speed. Wow, we got plenty of speed. This is great. And from safety, Monte Hale, true freshman, would be the starter over Roland Martin and Demetri Kirk with the 86 speed. Our secondary is looking really good. Russell, I don't care about the overall, the speed and the catching. 54 catching, but he had 10 picks. 90 acceleration, that's really helped Russell. Wow, I am really happy with this team, guys. This looks really good. Oh, we got to cut down to 55. Okay. What do we got here? All right, we're going to get rid of Antoine Barr because he's trash. 73 speed, half pack, terrible. What do we got here? Defensive tackle. Can't cut any more of them. Doug Justice, he was our starter in year one. He had 43 tackles, two sacks, five picks. But guess what, Doug? You're not going to see the field again. Sorry. And we'll get rid of Hayward Boss with a 74 speed at corner. Woof. And that should do it. All right, guys. Let's set the depth chart now. I would really love to be able to breathe out of my nose and not be stuffed up all the time. Feels bad. Alright. For now, I'm just going to leave the quarterback situation the way it is. And I will let you guys discuss that in the Discord. 
in the North Carolina Tar Heels Dynasty channel. So, Damian Higgins or Nate Kirby, who do you think should be the starter? Who do you think will give us the best chance? Ruthless cutting the originals? I mean, he should have improved, man. Terrible. No, Kerry, get out of here, bro. Why is Mason out of here? Get out of here with that. Yeah, these guys are just really not that great. Oh my goodness. Alright, those are our three receivers. Mitchell's going to be the number four. And Wallace Wright will be the fifth. And apparently Alex Russell's the sixth. Feels weird. Tight end, left tackle, left guard, center, right guard. I mean, why would we not start Thurman? Like, what do you mean? True freshman starting at right guard. True freshman starting at left tackle. This is going to be interesting, guys. <laughs> this is going to be really interesting. Left end, Kendall High. Dallas Mason is back up. Tommy Davis. So Mason's going to get plenty of playing time. Filling in for the tired Davis and Kendall High. We desperately need defensive tackles. Next recruiting class for sure. Levi Square going to be the left outside linebacker. Going to be a beast for us this season. Got a linebacker, Casey Kendrick. All right, who's starting? Jeff Longany? No, no, my guy. Malik Brown. 100%. Samson. Clayton. All right, there we go. I am liking the defense. It looks so much faster this season than last season. What is happening here? Why? Why is this happening to me? We have plenty of corners. Get get our receivers out of here, please. <laughs> Alright, now I think I'm going to be starting McClellan over Holt here. So we got two true freshmen starting at corner, both sides. That should be really, really interesting. I'm scared, just a little bit. Monte Hale is going to be starting at free safety, a true freshman. And get out of here. Alex Russell, first team All American, starting a strong safety, of course. Kicker is Josh Hunt. David Huber is the starting punter. Kick and turn. Uh, no, I don't want to carry on. It was 78 speed. Get out of here. Who should we get? Let's get Wallace right in there. 87 speed. He's the number five receiver. Let's get him some sort of plague time. And let's see, who else? I think I'm just going to start right at punt return as well. And that is going to be it for the depth chart. And then we'll go ahead and do our schedule for season number three. And we will also do some red shirts because I do want to red shirt a couple players at least. Run, Frank, run. Frank Gore leads a fierce Hurricanes rushing attack in 2005. Yes, of course he does. All right, let's do the red shirts first. Alexander Hoffman. I kind of want to play him. I, I really do. Uh, I don't know, though. What do you guys think? Should we play Alexander Hoffman or not? Let me know. Alright. Well, this guy's not going to play this season. Defensive end. Larry Watson will save one of his seasons. Get the linebacker. Deion Lord. Uh, I'm going to keep him unredshirted. Just because we're going to do the 3 4, so we might need some more linebackers out there. 
three safeties. Really no point. How about a redshirt Roland Martin? Why not? Just so we have another free safety, you know, for a couple more seasons. Behind Monte Hale. And that is gonna be it. Oops, there we go. Alright, let's customize that schedule. So we got Florida State, week two. They want us to take on Iowa, week three. Hold on, let me see how many home games we got first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's seven, so. There we go. We'll do that. Alright, do we want to face Iowa? I want to start off with somebody tough. So I, I think we're going to stick with Iowa and Florida State right there. Two and three. The ECU. Yeah, we'll keep them on there. Week five. We're not taking on Idaho. There's no chance. Let's see. We can take on Louisville. We we'll take on Louisville. They had a really good season last year. Yeah, let's see. What do you guys think? Notre Dame? I kind of want to go to Notre Dame. That's a pretty solid schedule. What do you guys think about that? So we'll start off against, well, at home versus Florida State. We'll host Iowa. And then we'll go to Louisville. And then to NC State. Host Virginia. Travel to Notre Dame. Have a bye week, week 9, week 10 will be at Clemson, week 11 at Maryland, 12 versus Wake Forest, 13 at Georgia Tech, and then week 14 will be home against the Duke Blue Devils. That is a solid schedule, and I think we're going to stick with it. We do have the 16th ranking in the preseason poll, guys. That is pretty exciting. Good start for us. Wow, I, I am surprised that we're that high, actually. Let's take a look at the Sports Illustrated real quick. See what we got going on here. Is this the year? Fans in Auburn are excited about the 2005 Tigers. Miami, of course, number one. Oklahoma, Notre Dame, USC, Auburn, Ohio State, Texas, Louisville, NC State, Nebraska, Arkansas, Arizona State, Virginia Tech, Georgia, Maryland, and North Carolina with a B minus. That's all right. We will improve even more after the season. And that is the top 25, rounded out by Texas A&M. Let's see who's dead last. UL Monroe, fantastic. <laughs> Terrible. Eastern Michigan actually has the worst roster with a C minus, though. And Boise State down here, 84th with a B minus overall. Oh my goodness. Heisman watch. That's a Darius Bowman. Heisman hope or hype? If Bowman remains healthy, he could be the next Heisman Trophy winner for North Carolina. Oh my goodness, he's number two on the list. What? D'Angelo Williams, senior out of Memphis, is number one currently at halfback. Darius Bowman, number two. That's crazy. I mean, he did have a monster season last year. Less catches than his freshman year. But more yards, more touchdowns, less drops. Along with 95. Fantastic. Tony Hunt, junior halfback out of Penn State, is number three. Sophomore halfback Xavier Carter out of Missouri is fourth. And Cornell candidate is a Richard senior out of Arizona State, a halfback. Preseason All-Americans, class of 2005. North Carolina needs a good junior year for Bowman to have a successful season. I agree. He is a first-team preseason All-American. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Do we got anybody else? Alex Russell, perhaps. Alex Russell, let's go. Second team, we got anybody on there? Brady Quinn's still playing. Oh, he's a junior, okay. Reggie Bush on there. He went over 1,200 yards, 30 touchdowns last season. What a beast. Sonoris Moss from Miami. And I don't think we're going to have anybody else. 
Nope, not even our kicker. All right, that is it for that. Conference Outlook. Check it out. Gore looks to lead the Hurricanes to the top of the tough Big East. How will they fare? Well, the ACC, we are third right now. NC State and Maryland, one and two, respectively. And we have four teams ranked in the top 25. Florida State down to a four-star team prestige now. NC State and Maryland, the biggest team prestiges in the conference at five stars. And, of course, Duke with a one-star. Fantastic. Trash. All right, guys. That is going to be it for this stream. As we take a look at the coach report card, I do appreciate you guys stopping by for our year two uh, off season, our recruiting, players leaving, cutting players, depth chart, all of that fun stuff. Uh, tomorrow night, doubleheader. We're going to be taking on Florida State and Iowa. So I hope to see you guys then. That's it for me tonight. Leave a like on the video if you have not already. Subscribe if you are new. Join the Discord community if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. All that fun stuff. Until tomorrow night, around 8.30, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take it easy, guys.